Hey guys, take a minute to the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the time and date set automatically is grayed out. So if you go into setting of your iPhone, go to general, and then try to change the date and time here, you might notice that set automatically it grayed out so you can't manually set the time itself and you're kind of stuck with it so how do you prevent that or fix this issue well there's a couple things you need to do first thing is go into your main settings here and once you're in your main settings here you're going to look for screen time here click on screen time here and under screen time here if you do have screen time turned on you need to turn it off usually there will be an option to turn it off here or specifically if you have content restrictions and privacy restrictions you need to turn this off in order to be able to do things so that's step one now step two in this process is if you go into your main settings again and this time you go to privacy and security and take a look under location services now either you can do two things you can turn off location services completely or you can come to where it says system services under where it says setting time zone you can turn that off either way it work this one works or you can just completely turn off location services and once you have turned these two settings off you go back into your settings general and take a look to see if you can change your date and time now this time manually and you should be able to do it now let's say you still haven't been able to do that and that might be because your carrier is actually controlling or setting the time zone and for some iPhone that is the case for some carriers so in order to fix that you go into your setting of your iPhone go to general and then about page under the about page wait about 30 seconds and the reason why you're waiting about 30 seconds is that there might be a carrier update that might pop up once you wait about 30 seconds or so and you have to be on this page just hold on a second like a 30 seconds or so and if that is updated it will say update carrier which is different from updating your phone it's a carrier update that will come through here now after you have done that and you don't see an update or you do see an update and you update your phone hopefully it's working for you now even after doing that if it's still not working the next thing you can do is a force restart on your iPhone so in order to do a force restart you're gonna press and release the volume up followed by press and release the volume down one after another really quick and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and once we see the Apple logo we'll let go of that button so I'll do volume up volume down and then I finally hold that side button remember the sequence it has to be volume up and down quick one after another and then simply after you have done that just keep on holding it do not slide to power off but because that will be just a normal turn off and on and once you see the Apple logo you let go of that button and what we essentially have done is shut down the software of the phone and then have it reload the code so if it's software related issue preventing you from changing the time it should fix it for you and this method is really safe it will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your phone and hopefully after this you can change the time and date now let's say you still haven't been able to do that and still stuck on it the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone go to general go down where it says transfer reset iPhone and then you'll click on the first option for reset and you want to do a quick a reset of location and privacy first stop which will reset any settings related to location and privacy that generally will take about a minute or two and after you have done that and still not working you can do try to reset all settings which will reset things like network related settings so if you have saved Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connected devices you'll have to reconnect again any custom keyboard dictionary that you have uh, set up that will get reset any home screen layout that you have that's custom will get reset back and then any location privacy setting basically all of these settings are bundled into resetting all settings but resetting all settings will not delete your personal data so all of your photos videos apps still will be safe on your phone you don't have to worry about that but it will be necessary to do a reset of all settings if you simply can't change the date and time now after you have done that and the very last thing you can do when it comes to any software related issue with your phone not being able to change the date and time is you'll see if there's an update available you can go into setting of your iphone go to general software update and as apple recommends it's always up good
good to update your iPhone to the latest iOS version because of any bug fixes and security updates that Apple releases. As you know, there's constant updates that a previous update might have caused the issue with date and time and you want to go ahead and update your phone give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes recommended also make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged or connected to a charger during the update and you have a good strong wi-fi or cellular data and once you go ahead and update your phone hopefully after going through all these troubleshooting steps your date and time is working if so please make sure to like and subscribe button for future tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices thanks for watching guys see you guys next time